heartfelt culinary memoir explores the recipe for contentment and the true nature of success as discovered through decades of one local man's Sunday dinners with his family. Sundays with Salvador invites readers to eavesdrop on decades of dinner discussions. Those discussions are between Wall Street Journal bestselling author Karen Manja and her 100-year-old Indiana first-generation American World War II veteran grandfather. The book, you know, that's amazing. That is just amazing. The book also pays tribute to the traditions we all cherish from family recipes to generational wisdom to gathering rituals and here to talk about her book is Karen thank you so much for coming in thank you it's almost like a dinner table here it is. we had snacks I know uh, wouldn't that be? usually we normally do normally we do we yeah. have a lot of food on this yeah. show but not I mean today. a book with 52 recipes I should have cooked something for you <laughs> you what should have we, we will eat it believe me so what inspired you to write this book I started thinking about the person I've learned the most from in my life. And I started thinking about this isolation that we all talk about and feel. Yeah. And I thought, what would happen if I could invite everyone mm -hmm. to join a Sunday dinner with my family, with my grandfather? And I started reflecting on these lessons learned. I heard over time. Now, he just turned 100 yesterday. I wow. wish I had had this idea when he were 89 to risk proof right. the concept. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, he's here. We were able to celebrate and I thought, what a gift to get to do this together. That's an amazing gift too. Man. How did you guys celebrate his birthday? Yes, yesterday we celebrated how he lives. Yeah. A couple of his nephews took him out to breakfast and then in the evening we had a big old school style mm -hmm. family spaghetti and meatballs dinner oh, yeah. and had a bottle of what he refers to as the good stuff. <laughs> Friends, that is Martini and Rossi. Yeah, there yes. we go. Now we're like talking. Yeah. And we did a toast and then a big birthday cake and sang, and he blew out all the candles in one big breath. That's amazing. What does he think about you writing this book? At first, he didn't know what to say. Right. And I have to say, something I've discovered from doing the book is really for all of us, the difference between rejoicing and regrets is taking right. action. I mean, pulling that book out of the box with him mm -hmm. was such a gift. Yeah as opposed to a moment of grief if yes. we were already gone. And so he doesn't quite know what to make of it, although every once in a while he'll say, next Sunday, bring me another big box of books to sign. <laughs> and then I knew I'd made it big. Honestly, I got a handwritten Christmas card from him, oh. and it just says, I like Sundays with Salvatore. Oh. Love, Grandpa. That's so sweet. Oh, I would have cried right there. Yep, I, I lost it. I treasure that card mm -hmm. for life. Karen, when you look at this book and when you started piecing it together, I'm sure all of those Sundays felt like the Sunday of this week, right? Like, oh, mm -hmm. we're going to grandpa's for dinner. But when you looked back, how much did you recollect on the fact of like, holy cow, those were really powerful moments in my life that I may not have noticed then? Writing about him and that experience helped me see it in a different context, which is really when you think about it, sometimes ordinary moments have extraordinary meaning yeah. mm -hmm. and what I discovered was he shared extraordinarily meaningful wisdom mm -hmm. you know he's a first-generation American he's right. a World War II veteran he right. has stories to share he bootstrapped a finance and insurance business right. there's so much to learn and I thought you know inside of that ordinary meatloaf or spaghetti and meatballs mm -hmm. or one of his stories you've heard 50 times is really a nugget of wisdom so uh, wh what can you tell us about the impact you think that this has had on readers and how do you think, what do you hope they can take away from the impact? In fact, walking into our conversation today, the producer from your show stopped me to tell me a story about her own grandfather. Oh. And so for people, it helps them evoke this sense of traditions mm -hmm. and people they miss and they want to share that. The other aspect that has really come to life is it's a catalyst for people to gather. So we have people that have done get together and everybody makes a different recipe from the book yep. and then they mm -hmm. use the little conversation or wisdom prompt from him to really create a sense of belonging and a gathering tradition of their own. And I think that's what's so meaningful. It keeps who and what we love alive. Yes. Karen, thank you so much. The book is titled Sundays with Salvatore. If you want to read it and find it, you can head over to allindiana.tv. Thank you for thank sharing you, your life thank and story you. with us. We appreciate it so much. We got more all in Indiana coming up.